so hi everyone just recently alibaba has released marco o1 that is a 7 billion model which is taken as an alternative for openai o1 so if you remember openai released openai o1 which is taken to be a great reasoning model and hence can able to solve complex mathematical or physics problems as well one of the best models so far in terms of complexity solving and now alibaba has released its open sourced alternate that is marco one so in this post we will be first deep diving into how marco works what are its different features and later on how you can run marco one in your local system so let's get started so basically as you can see here this is one of the diagrams that the team has shared where they're asking how many hours are there in strawberry and this, then this is the entire process how marco one works out so the first cell as you can see Determine the number of times the R letter R appears in strawberry, write down the results and verify it. So this is what Marco is doing after the prompt is given. This is how it is thinking. The first letter is S, not R. The second letter is T, not R. Third letter is R. This is the first occurrence of R. And this is the detailing Marco O1 is going into to get to a final solution. The word strawberry contains three instances of letter R. It is coming here. I have counted all the letters and then giving the final answer. The answer is three. So this is what a detailed step that looks like how Marco O1 is going into chain of thoughts and then solving complex problems for you. Uh, but as they have mentioned uh, the Alibaba team, uh, the major focus is not just towards complex problems where answer is very clear like maths or physics or coding where it is easy to measure success using reinforcement learning. Rather Marco O1 also specializes in open-ended problems where there isn't a fixed answer like for example if you give a uh, reason here complex problems with uh, a finite answer is like for example some mathematical problem what is 2 plus 2 how do i fix this code snippet but problems like how can we make the world happier what's the best way to tell this story there is no correct answer and these are open-ended problems which requires a lot of reasoning marco owen the team wants to excel in this particular case now talking about its key features as already mentioned open-ended reasoning unlike traditional models aiming at a definitive answer o1 explores various potential solutions Mar monte carlo tree search as the first diagram that i showed you this technique allows the model to evaluate numerous possible paths to a solution mcts helps in balancing exploration of new possibilities so if you go back to the first example, here you can see that some of the cells are grayed out because these are also possibilities, but eventually the model doesn't want to go in that direction and hence it evaluated on that the third direction as you can see. This is what Monte Carlo tree search they are referring to. Chain of thought fine tuning. So what Marco Owen is fine tuned on, it is a Quen 27b model that they have used as a pre-trained model and then fine-tuned over a chain of thought data set so i think i assume that by now you might be knowing what a chain of thought is basically the model is analyzing it every step by step in a detailed manner you can explore more about chain of thought on the channel i have explained it in quite detail and then reflection mechanism the model incorporates a self-reflection component that prompts it to re-access whether whatever information it has mentioned is correct or not. So sort of a verification round that the model goes for itself. Now talking about how Marco Owen works. So this is a diagram that the team has shared. Marco Owen has been fine tuned on these three data sets. Open Owen COT data. That is chain of thought data set. Marco Owen chain of thought data set. Marco Owen instruction data set. Once this is done, here you can see how inferencing is done. MCTS is done. Uh, the example that I showed you. Out of multiple paths possible, it would be evaluating at every step and then choosing the best path for you at every level and then giving a final answer. So these are the data sets used and inferencing process as shown in the diagram. The nodes represent different reasoning paths. Yellow nodes are selected for further exploration. As you can see the yellow ones and the green one is the answer. The white ones are not selected. So it is going into multiple thoughts at the same time. After generating an answer, the model calculates how confident it is on result using probabilities. Confident value helps refine the final output. Now talking about performance and metrics, not much has been reported yet except MGSM, Multilingual Grade School Maths dataset that they have used for English and Chinese. 
over which it has reported an increase of 6% and 5.6% respectively. Now, one important feature the team has mentioned is acing the language translation problem. So Marco Owen is able to handle slangs and casual language as well. So like for example, uh, if this particular text, which literally means the outfit is explosive. Uh, into the output is amazing because now explosive doesn't go with the sentence. The verbal meaning, the exact meaning of the word use might be explosive, but the user never intended to say that the output is explosive. He intended to say that the output is amazing. So here in that case, it is able to tackle that as well. And hence it's, it's a big move to be honest. Here you can see that how the translation path is going on again, some example where it has skipped the other two realms and going into the second one. Now, how to use Marco Oven? Now we will be jumping onto it. So Olama has released a uh, Marco Oven on its platform as well. So if you don't have Olama, what I would suggest you to just search Olama on the internet, go here and download. It's an EXC file, which enables you to use LLMs in your local system. Now, once you're done, I will just, it is already installed for me. So I will just open an account prompt. And just type this command olama run marco hyphen over this model is already downloaded for me if you're running it for the first time unfortunately it might take some time for you to download the model the model model is a little big so it might take a few minutes for you but for me i have already downloaded it so it will start inferencing in a few seconds now Now, as you can see, it is ready for me. Uh, let me ask it an open-ended question. How the world can remove terrorism? So here you can see in how much detailing it is going. The model size is not that big. Hence, inferencing as you can see is super fast. I am not using much of GPU. I just have four GBs of GPU. Hence, I still feel that the inferencing power is quite high and the results are very good on a local system. As you can see, the detailing of the answer is great. It is going at a step by step thought process. All right, I need to figure out how the world can remove terrorism. First, what exactly is terrorism? It explains that perhaps one angle is a lack of economic opportunities in certain regions on political sites, social factors, other aspects education what about international corporation it's just amazing just look at the quality of the output it is giving it can generate an entire block for you on this and it is covering different aspects it's not just giving an answer in a particular direction as you can see legal frameworks are also important psychological and social support technology can both be a tool and weapon against terrorism it's great so look at the variety of paragraphs the model has added and it looks to be amazing. I think I would start using it straight away after this demonstration. We'll try it for a few more prompts and then we will wrap this particular use case. As you can see, it's still outputting results for me. The output is very detailed. Let me close it here. Let me ask it something else. Let me ask it a simple uh, maths question. What is 2 cross 3 plus 4 minus 5 equals 2. Let's see what it outputs. If I see it, it should be 5. But let's see how it reasons a mathematical problem as well. First, I will evaluate the multiplication part that is correct. So now the expression simplifies 6 plus 4 for minus 4, 5. Next, I will do addition. It is following board mass. That is absolutely correct. 10 minus 5 equals to 5. But wait, let me double check that we talked about the reflection part. If you remember, now it is double checking it again. So this was uh, a great model that has come in. I think if you are not able to afford O1, which no one is able to afford because it's very expensive. I think Marco O1 is the way to go. Thank you so much. I hope you try out Marco O1 what's trying out and i think i would start using it straight away thank you so much